a lot of set up for the next tournament beginning for the Friendship Cup and Arc. The meanwhile filled with a lot of recap and a lot of stuff we're like, yeah, we kind of get it. Can we like move on to like after the sick fucking fight after Jack Atlas and like you? Yeah, I mean like we're getting recap on the last episode. Like we know we we just fucking saw it. Like that was the thing. I like, honestly I had the biggest issue with like uh, like this episode was just like we got quite a bit of recap. And honestly, like you, you was like you know saying like you know what the fuck happened? You know like I let my fucking anger got to me. Like I wasn't you know. Like really doing entertainment, and he or he predicted that like first move. He used that like reject reborn card at the start. He was already I was already playing into his fucking game by like getting cocky and like getting a little bit fucking arrogant with this shit. Another thing I can definitely say before I get more into the positives with this episode is that even though I've noticed it a lot of time, like they're really just it was so bad. Like when we saw like a lot of the end, like a lot of the characters just wasn't either moving in this episode. Like you saw when you saw Yuzu and like Yugo just there, the entire crowd was just like. Just standing like that, like, not even moving, not even a single sound. It was just like, you, you could see them talking in the background, but it was like, these guys were just like, just standing there, and I'm like, are you serious? Like, we're straight up looking at this scene, like, 10, like, like 15 seconds, of, like, like, even that, or let's say it was, like, near that minute or something that we saw that, and it was like, we just saw that scene, so... Honestly, that was the real negatives I had about the episode, but for the more the positives, like, Yuya started to learn more about Jack Atlas, like, we found out with that little kid Sam, like, what his whole little deal is, is that he used to be a very big Jack Atlas fan, and he actually gave Yuya a card as he, like, woke up, but, like, they're all in this big area, and, like, you know, he basically gave him a card saying, like, oh, he thought it was me as weak, and he gave me, like, this little weak little card just to show that. I mean, he never said that, he's saying, like, you haven't got no money, you ain't got no money for cards, here, use this, like, my guess is that he wanted to show that to him, and maybe bring some because maybe that was like the first card that he was given to like when he like first started out of the top maybe like crow gave that to him or something i'd like to think that but honestly that's you know set up for like the rematch because obviously we know you is gonna fight him again like it's gonna be like that he's gonna use the card again and that's gonna remember like like jack atlas is like this is who i truly am you know i'm not because they're saying like oh he sold out to the tops and like all this like uh, promotion shit here. and from what we've never, we've never seen like jack atlas like jack atlas was a lot more cockier and a lot more arrogant in the 5Ds anime at the start. Like, he was a fucking trade. He was all, like, fucking, like, you say as well, like, bike and stuff and what have you. And, you know, it went on from there. This one, it just feels like he's just a face, and it's like, I'm not gonna lie. Him fucking sitting on that fucking throne like that, just sitting down, I'm like, that's, that's, okay. That's how King should be when he's fucking ready to fucking face his opponents. And, you know, we got to see, like, the 16 participants. A lot of them look irrelevant as fuck, but then, mind you, most of the fucking main cast that we've got at the moment for the Friendship Cup arc is just in there. And we see, like, you know, the next, um, fight that we're going to be having to sign off the Friendship Cup is actually going to be Gong and Zaka versus Crow, which I'm going to be, this is an interesting fight, but mind you, I feel like we're going to need to see, like, a lot more Crow in this fight, so I already can see that Gong and Zaka is really going to lose to this. I mean, it's going to be Synchro v Synchro in this match, so I'm kind of curious to see, like, how this is going to work exactly, like, how their decks are going to, you know, like, face off against each other, but we didn't, we didn't get to see any part of the dual style in the moment, it's just like, they were now walking to the battlefield, and, like, obviously Crow's got his own thing, it's like, it was kind of really nice to see, like, you know, Gang and Zach is like, yo, I'm, I'm making sure that no one stains fucking, like, Yuya's name like that after that fucking exhibition match. But they can't meet everyone, even though it's their fancy-ass hotel. They can't go unless they're pretty much going for a match, and they can only watch the match from, like, their rooms. And, like, you know, the only way to reach each other would be that. So, I really do want him to meet Yuzu in the end. Like, I honestly thought they would have been, like, this would have been the perfect time, but they're still holding on to that. So, I just... I still feel like that Yuzu is going to get captured again, like, as soon as they, like, see each other again, and then it's going to end up with another rescue out, and we go to, the, you know, we go into the next dimension, like, because I really want to see, you know, I want to see Rian again, I want to see the, um, one from the XYZ dimension, we, we haven't even seen her face yet, Rui, like, I want to see more about them, and, like, Hopefully through this arc, I feel like midway through this tournament, or maybe midway through the Jack Atlas, like, it's going to get interrupted, or something's going to happen where, I don't know, maybe, like, you know, the Academia, like, actually going to attack, like, I'm curious about that, but other than all that, it was, a, you know, it had some good things to it, but it was a, I'd give this episode, honestly, a, it was fine for what it is, like, it was a fine episode, but there were a lot of glaring issues in this one, just, like, a lot of still very poorly done animation, like, not to mention, it's just a bunch of recap from last week, we fucking got that, and not to mention, progression-wise, not too much happened, but that's all for me, so thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you guys next time.